They've started good, mate. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're live on Twitch. should be live on Twitch now uh, and YouTube as well. So as we get this match started, uh, welcome, everybody, to Squad League Stream. This is our first stream of our tournament in March. We have uh, Exacted playing White Fox on Logar Skirmish. Um, so we've got a pretty awesome match for today. Uh, we'll be also streaming our uh, coverage of CML um, playing on uh, what map are they playing on? I think they're playing on. God, I'll have to look it up. But uh, we have we have another match coming up at um, that is going to be at 5:30 EST or 4:30 EST rather. So we've got two matches today. Uh, been organizing this, been prepping for weeks for this match, and we're finally getting going here. So our first match today, White Fox and Exacted are playing Logar. And uh, I'd like to welcome uh, Blitza to the stream. Thanks, Rusty. Glad to be here again alongside you. Good to have you here. We've got our commentators here. We've got our staff online, too. Uh, we've got Ross and Ivy Kane here. The team's all here. And uh, we're happy to be here, happy to be announcing, happy to uh, be finally in the in the March Madness. Uh, you know, We've been prepping this for so long, and now, now we get to just sit back and profit and let things uh, work out. So we've got... Um, some awesome teams ready to throw down here. So we're going to be on the U.S. side here. Um, you can see the roster here. I'll bring that up on stream. Already getting contact as Exacta comes out here. And uh, Blitz and I are going to be announcing from the uh, U.S. Army side. We've got Ross over there to give us a ticket count occasionally from the militia side. And uh, this is going to be a pretty awesome match. So sit back and enjoy. Yeah, so okay, so just sorry, mate. Just from the initial movement, we can see that um, White Fox have got the majority of the map held, uh, making a push towards exactly the second flag. Yeah, a lot of contacts far west, marking them on the map. Is that on map. the comms channel there? Yeah. A lot of uh, activity going down in the center of the town here. Militia captures a flag. U.S. Army captures a flag. We actually have a fob up here, or uh, for exacted. Or, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, White Fox, actually. Got that fob up there in uh, Foxtrot 6. That's an interesting play there. Uh, Blitz, where do you usually put a fob here? I'm not trying to undermine, you know, where you would, uh, where the Redcoats would say put a fob. But if you're playing in a casual round, uh, what's a good location to place a fob? Because Logar, you know, a lot of the times you see these guys go behind um, their lines. And if there's a fob in a city, these guys are probably going to find it. They're pretty good at sniffing it out. So what's a, what's a good location to put a fob down? Yeah, you're right, Rusty. Like you said, um, with it being quite tight compounds here through the, the center of Logar, it's, it's very risky putting that fob uh, sort of in the center. Uh, normally, myself, I'd sort of keep it out towards our lines, out on the corners of the map, um, just to allow free movement across the hills. So sort of Delta 5, uh, Golf six, those sort of areas. If we're attacking from US, uh, like you said, centre of town, it's it's risky business because if Exacted did get a bit of pressure on them and managed to push them up, uh, that fob's in one of their main routes into their last flag. So right, it, they could be okay looking from the pressure they've got out uh, initially. They've got the front foot, so it should be okay. But I'm going to keep my eye on it because, uh, like you said, very risky. Yeah, absolutely. And and especially on skirmish with only 150 tickets. That's 10 tickets you really can't afford to lose at all. Mm -hmm. So, yep, and like Blitz said, we'll be playing these 150 ticket matches. We're on Logar Skirmish. And once this round's over, we'll switch up sides and play again. And uh, if it turns out, the way that we've always run this, if it turns out to be um, a tie, uh, White Fox wins one and loses the one, then we go to tickets. Go down to tickets. But we're seeing a big push now from Exacted. Uh, looks like they've spawned back in. Like at least uh, two full squads there coming down the middle, barreling down on White Fox here. White Fox seems to be taking the opposite approach now. They were very aggressive in the beginning. They seem to be trying to hold this compound area down. I'm assuming they're going to wait for the other guys to push into them, but I'm going to have to see. 
the issue the White Fox now have got is that they've uh, had a change in the defence flag, so they've got to wait for the boys that were um, out here, sort of rain, Nathan and a couple of other guys, to get across and, and uh, back up that defence flag before they can make a push, because they'll risk overextending themselves. Exactly, trying to make a wide flank up in the hill, but they've been spotted by one of the White Fox team members. Oh, he seems to miss them. Oh, you're looking up at Babylon up there? Yep. Thought Babylon caught them there, but they seem to be pushing wide around behind Babylon, so he's missed a flank. Oh, they got him. So they're making a very wide flank now. Looking at our flags here. They'll have that white fox fob up there in the middle. See the squads. You can see these guys are also utilizing map markers. They've got their map markers out there where they think enemy contacts are. Right now fighting over, uh, what was that, South Central? Yeah. Ross, does, uh, does Exacted have a fob over there on that, that side? Uh, not that I can see. They exacted yeah, still they pushing. Do. They do have a fob? Okay. Yep, they have a fob down in E8. Ah, okay. Pretty much on the defense, Marco. Babble on the way back up in the hill to try and get the guys that flanked them. Kerrigan seems to have spotted them. So Babylon got one of them down. Kerrigan, the one that killed them to begin with, killed him again. So they've still got control of this hill and the view over the battlefield at the moment. So I've just got eyes on that fob and, uh, and Ross is right. It's uh, on that last flag for them in Echo 8. Uh, very, very risky putting the fob on the flag. Right. If they if they get put on their heels, they're they're in for trouble because they're going to be pretty much limited to just spawning in right around that area, and they will have to hold that unless they want to lose both their flag and their fob. Yeah. yeah if exactly. they get pushed back, that's going to be a big dent for them. That will give the other team full control over that area, and a nice loss in tickets too. There's another white fox guy. Oh. The White Fox has recontrolled the hill now. That's Kerrigan dead. White Fox seems to be flanking behind the exacted guys at the moment. He's got a view of three or four of them from the hill. That's one of them down. Yeah, White Fox absolutely controlling these uh, exacted guys coming through the field, but exacted is still holding um, pretty Ooh. solid. The... Uh... A uh, redock from the White Fox, I just managed to take two or three of the guys out from exactly that were moving forward for, through the field. Yeah, I believe Very I nice just, defense. Yeah, I think I just caught that. But looking now, exacted. These guys sprinting pretty hard now, moving into the compound. White Fox bubbles and rainbow can get taken by surprise here. Exacted moving in, checking corners. That was a nice push. They that was managed a nice to push. catch uh, White Fox when they had the Kex down, so they managed to get control there. Yeah, that is a difficult compound to uh, to clear. They did a good job there. White Fox cleared out of there. We'll see what they do now if they defend here or keep pushing. I don't know if you can pick up there as well, Rusty. Just onto uh, the last flag for Militia. White Fox have managed to get three guys around the side. Uncontested, so they could potentially get that neutralized and uh, and negate the push that uh, Exacted have just made. So there's Nathan, Rain, and uh, Mister managed to get into that last flag. Ah, yeah, I, I can see that here from uh, my point of view. They'll also get eyes on that fob as well, so they're going to know that uh, it's there and, and maybe get it down. All right, that can be a dangerous situation when you have, uh, you know, a small team like that running around your uh, your rear flank. White Fox trying to push back into the compound with Exacted in it. Exacted doing a good job of defending. 
think they are definitely onto those guys in their uh, in their rear. How are your tickets, Ross? Yeah, we're at 105 in this. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're at 125 here, so it's a 20 ticket difference at the minute. White Fox stacked up on these walls here. We're going for the push in, boom. Looks like those uh, looks like those white fox guys in the rear, over to the south, are taken out. Acted as taking them out. They'll be respawning back in, but looking now over to the uh, west, three more guys. Was that Nathan and uh, what Mista? Yeah, mostly two out there coming around their flank. I wonder if they know that there's a fob there. Yeah, they managed to get inside the compound, so they would have been well within the fob radius. Okay. Interesting. We'll see how many resources White Fox devotes now to neutralizing that fob. It is difficult because exacted spawning in there, and uh, there it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to kind of get a lot of guys in there. There's never not going to be exacted guys spawning in from that location. But if you do know where their fob is, that definitely gives you an advantage. Exactly, definitely knows they're there though. Nice grenades, took out two of the members. We've got a medic, fortunately. Nathan's with their medic, she's bringing them back up. But they definitely know that they're there. Like, like you said, Rusty, to take that fob, you really have to commit a, a large force because you're only 100 metres away from main as well. So if you're going to go, you, you really need to commit a, cu a couple of squads possibly. One to get in on the fob, one to cut off the respawn at main. Right. And at this stage of the game, what they're fighting over South District, you, um, you haven't got those numbers to push. Right. Exacted pushed out of compound in South Central. White Fox has regained control. Exacted now in the streets. They're stacked up on uh, a couple walls throwing smoke now. Not seeing a fight over the hills anymore. Looks like that has died out. But that can definitely be a uh, very important flanking position to rain fire down. Especially if you have a couple talented uh, talented guys up there with scopes shooting down into the street. That's going to be a big advantage. Seeing White Fox holding this compound more or less. exacted on the offensive now trying to stop that flank the second flank from white fox happening They've left the compound a few of them spade and the exacted teams made a wider flank around white fox so he's on the hill nearby them there's three of them in the compound and they don't know he's there i don't think he knows that they're there either they're about to make another push He seems to have spotted them now. Oh, you're checking out Spade here from Exacted? Yep. Wow. Perfect flank, right behind them. Just and couldn't execute, gone. unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, very spread out and spread thin in terms of numbers. They had a full squad on this uh, flank. They might be able to uh, penetrate that compound and prevent them from spawning in. But yeah, most of the action we're seeing is still between South Central here. Not entirely sure if White Fox knows that their FOB is there. They seem to have been pushing, but they don't seem to put any real emphasis on moving around this side. Right. Well, and we're not hearing a lot of talk at all on Commander Comms. I don't know if you're hearing anything over there. Ross, it's very quiet. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's quiet very, over here too. They were talking a lot at the beginning, but it seemed to have quietened down at the moment. We're down to uh, 73 I've... tickets also on this side. Okay, 112 here, and I have not heard anything on Commander Comms. I just had to check that I'd actually made a squad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's actually shocking. 
Carter seems to be picking back up on this side. Yeah, you know, I guess at this point it becomes a game of numbers. And it's just going to be uh, killing in South Central unless we see a push. Uh, if White Fox can devote enough resources to pushing into that compound, we will just see, uh, you know, enemy against, uh, against uh, well, blue on... <laughs> um, What am I trying to say? Holy crap. We'll just Mom's be seeing... Yeah, man-to-man -man indiscriminate killing down here in South Central, and that's just going to be the main ticket drain unless we see a push from White Fox or Exacted. If they were to come and push away uh, from the direction that White Fox is pushing from, they might be able to come in from the rear of this compound and overwhelm it like they did at the beginning of the game. Um, but we're not seeing that. We're seeing them drive right down the middle, throwing smokes left and right, and uh, that's going to that's gonna be uh, just come down to tickets, just killing. Whoever can uh, yep. get higher KDs is going gonna, is gonna to win the match if it stays at this point. We're seeing those White Fox guys gather out there in the west. We'll see if they decide to push in. I'm not sure if they're holding for uh, for more members to spawn in or not. Um, but There's a little bit of a defense holding them back, and they seem quite paranoid at the moment. They're not making that push. I think that they think there's more guys out there from exactly ready to defend. So they're not making that push. If they had made the push, they could have steamrolled right into that compound, but they're playing it very safe at the moment. Seems to be one moving in though. Mister, he's moving into the compound. One of them spawned in the exacted side though. Seeing some activity back up on the hill. Debbie from Exacted now moving up there. Babylon still skirmishing up there with uh, Ewo in the. right behind him. White Fox is making a push on that compound now. They've got it surrounded. One exacted. Just killed their first member. There's three of them left. Killed each other, so that's White Fox now in control of this compound. If they're able to sniff that fob, it should be easy now. Now this would be the time to relay that information back to the other squads. So that people can start moving in that direction. We'll see what they decide to do. I think Nathan def definitely knows there's a fob there. You guys died right on top of it, so they're definitely aware now. He's now going to be preventing that spawn in from Exacted, who's now coming back on their heel, so they do know something's up. Deckard's going to be the first one in the compound. Nathan and Mosley are still the only White Fox members defending. Deckard now moving in. If Deckard gets to jump on them, he, he could easily get them both. He doesn't seem to know, they don't actually, neither of them seem to know where each other is. De oh. Wow. We had a spawn in there. Will speed Mostly gets goes down. Him. Nathan gets oh, him. Zekart's moving in. Zekart hears it. Or if he knows where they are. He does not. Nathan, the medic, he's got one of his other members back up, so there's two white fox in the building now. Yep. Zekart still no idea where they are. So we just hit uh, 97 tickets, Ross. How's it looking for exactly? 44 here, unfortunately. Big gap in between them both. Zekat going over the building. With White Fox on their fob and their flag, these last exacted members, they could either you know, push hard or fall back. But it looks like they're just going to be uh, continuing to skirmish. Zekat killed three of them. Nathan, the medic, survived. We could bring them back up, some of them. Another exacting member just spawned. Just over here at uh, South Ooh. District. Exacted have managed to push in and get a fall on the compound. Exactly keeps spawning this compound still. Nathan fighting his own. 
there. Three of them spawned, four of them spawned. They finally got rid of Nathan. They have control over this area again. So they can focus now on pushing up into the hell or into the center. Definitely a close call there for Exacted. That would have been a pretty big ticket drop to lose that fob as well as yeah. the flag. White Fox still skirmishing here. But Exacted, like you said, blitz and control now this compound. Although they do have a lot of guys down here. White Fox like again seems to be trying to make a flank round to try and capture that compound again. Exactly, they're spawning there, but they're moving up into the center of the map again. They're not defending the area. So White Fox could get the jump on them again, if they're lucky. 83 tickets over here. How are you looking over there, Ross? 31 here. Okay, it's definitely a little bit of a bleed going on here. White Fox has so, to pick these guys off. Both teams going into that compound actually lost everyone, so... That's the issue when you don't reinforce your push. So White Fox actually back in into the compound again. Yeah, exactly. It has to make a little bit of a longer trek to that compound. And uh, when you go in there and have an exchange where both teams get killed, really whoever can spawn in quicker is going to be back in control of that important Big area. Big spawn in this compound from exactly. White Fox trying to make the attack, but very outnumbered. Yeah, Nathan's still back there. Mostly making a wider flank around the side. 82 tickets here. We're 18 here now. They're bleeding very quickly in this side. Big drop. At this point, I don't think there's any real way for them to come back from such a gap. As long as White Fox can... Hold it. I think they're going to take the win. Yeah, that's looking like that's going to be it. We'll see. That's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see once we switch uh, teams here if tactics change. Definitely. Single digits here, nine, eight tickets left for exacted. Yep, 77 over here. That's a comfortable win if they can keep that up for, for White Fox. Exacted, they had a lot of good pushes in that, uh, definitely in that match, but not enough to make a dent. And White Fox definitely, uh, Having some good guerrilla tactics from that squad with mostly and Nathan over there. Uh, yeah. Kind of causing ruckus over there at the flag for acted. It'll be interesting to see if they have any different tactics for the next game. Because that didn't go well for them. There are five tickets now. Right. They won't be out of it. They do still have a chance to win, but they'll have to win by uh, about 75 tickets if they want to take home the victory. So it's going to have to be a bit of a Hail Mary match there. They're going to want to stay in. Seventy three tickets here. Exacta just holding on to the end. One ticket. There we go. Oh, there you go. First match out of the way. We're going to take just a short break here, just about two or three minutes. We're going to reset the match and give you guys another uh, round here. So uh, stay with us, and we will be right back in just a couple minutes.